what's your take on anti-inflammatory medication? In terms of anti-inflammatory meds, so you've got your ibuprofen and those sorts of things. One of the big um, problems with today's society, and there's a lot of good stuff about this, there's a lot of talk about inflammation, anti-inflammatory diet, anti-inflammation this, reduce inflammation that, get rid of inflammation. Inflammation is a normal and healthy part of a functioning human being. Out of control, chronic inflammation, system-wide inflammation, all of that other kind of stuff, that's separate. Let's just put that over somewhere else for the moment, outside of the context of our lower back injury, and understand very, very, very acutely that inflammation is a process by which we are going to, we're going to get the resources in place to go through the healing process, to get rid of cellular debris and all that other stuff, right? However, in the same stroke, it's also a problem in this confined space, having out of control inflammation. And so management of inflammation is something that we need to do strategically in the case of lower back injuries so that we can minimize unnecessary suffering in a way that is not violating principles of a neutral spine and making the underlying problem worse. You can use tools like the cube, like just a pack of ice or frozen peas, they are free. You can use those to manage that inflammation. Try and use, sincerely try and use some of the contrast bathing icing strategies directly over the lumbar spine. If you use the ice here on your hip or your buttock instead of here on your spine, it will not do anything. It has to be over the target. That's the whole point of using targeted inflammation management. And I think generally speaking, this is a much better strategy than just going system wide. Not, to, not least of all because of the side effects or consequences that some of you might suffer more than others. And the last thing you want is to have stomach ache because of the anti-inflammatory pills you had for your back pain and you're there sat on the toilet seat like this not going to be good and people don't talk about those kind of consequences straining stomach pain all of that kind of stuff not going to be helpful for the lumbar spine in ways that can completely blindside us unfortunately